Welcome everyone to another Jotless Marine Vlog. We're going to be showing you how to connect and how to perform diagnostics on a MAN common rail engine. We need to connect to two different ECMs, the engine and the SFFR model. First, we need to press the inboard picture in order to access the brand menu and then select MAN. Now we need to select the desired model. In this case, I'm going to be using the system search engine tapping SFFR will give us all the models related to this model and they're all common rails. I'm going to select the first option and as we can see, Jaltus Marinius all makes an all systems diagnostics tool. In this case, we have two different models and it's very important to connect to both of them. It's not just diagnostics, we can click into diagrams and we'll see how important is this system which has a lot of sensorization and we can show the component list are connected to the ECM. By clicking into the connector symbol, it will take us to this help menu. First, we have connector location, second, connector image, third, pinout detail, and fourth, the cables we need. In this case, we have different options and we have first the JDC 600, also called Marine Adapter, which is connected to the link interface, the blue box. And then use the JDC 620M, which is the MAN diagnostics cable. As we can see, we have another option, which is JDC 213M3, which has an OBD end, plus the JDC 620A. If we are using the new V9 link, the black and white box, the instructions will vary. We need the JDC 213.9 plus the JDC 620A. As you may know, on MAN common rail engines, we always find the diagnostics port or connector on the bottom side of a black engine control box, like this one in the machine room. MAN names his diagnostics port as X10. Inside this black box, we'll find the SFFR. Now we click connect. And we're communicating with the SFFR model. Again, when connecting to an MAN commercial engine, it's very important to connect to both systems. We'll find many life measurements and many focus are commonly managed by the engine and are only found on the SFR ECM. For example, we have the engine oil level and we have the accelerator signal and they're only available inside the SFFR. Again, also we can go to live data and we'll see many measurements that are very important and won't be accessible from the engine. Furthermore, and as usual, the data recorder to do C trails, for example, and save the results. Now we can disconnect, we can select the engine and click connect. Very simple, very easy. And this system obviously will find a greater quantity of diagnostics functionalities, such as system checks. and maintenance tasks as well as live data obviously and the data recorders and also we can read full codes Jaltus Marine is game changer with our guided diagnostics it's not just providing the full code and the description but the additional information first we have the freeze frame data and also help in components of the fold. We have the component related to the fold code and we have images and operational values. This is not diagnostics, this is technical information. And last but not least, the wiring diagrams again now on the engine. Same structure, same way of understanding the diagrams. We cannot forget the technical information again. We can select the vessel service data. And we'll 
access maintenance tasks provided by the official manuals. For example, engine compartment, and we can select everything that we're doing, and we can generate a report called maintenance report. Another report, very important, is the diagnostics report. We can put the logo of our company, company's information. We'll see the date, time, user, customer name, vessel name, and everything that we have been doing in both engine and the SFFR. As you have seen, Jaltish Marine is much more than just engine diagnostics. And with this vlog, we now know how to perform complete diagnostics on MAN common rail engines. Thank you for watching and see you again very soon.